With the 2017 Turkish Airlines EuroLeague Final Four almost upon us, what better time to reflect on the drama of last year's finals in the German capital, Berlin. European basketball's grandest prize contested by Fenerbahce, Basconia, Seska Moscow and locomotive Kuban Krasnodar. Four clubs fighting over three days at the Mercedes-Benz Arena to decide the destiny of the title. We have tip-off in the 2016 Turkish Airlines Euro League Final Four. The first semi-final saw Jelko Abradovic's Fenerbahce against the Basconia side spearheaded by veteran Greek centre Ioannis Baroussis. Baroussis pulls it out of the air. Fener had led by eight at the end of the first, but that was cut to just one at the half. Look at the big fella just taking it one step and bringing the hammer down. Finds him open for the dunk. The rest of the game was back and forth with big hitters trading big blows. Off the backboard and in by Giannis Baroussis to finish the third quarter. But Fenner would overcome a seven-point fourth-quarter deficit to send the game into overtime. Slukas ties it up 72-72 with 25.7 seconds left. Voted as the EuroLeague's rising star the previous season, 23-year-old Bogdan Bogdanovic would come of age in Berlin. Nine of his 18 points coming in overtime. This Bogdanovic, he's been doing everything in overtime, Bogdan Bogdanovic. Benner were going to the EuroLeague title game for the first time in club history. The second semi-final saw Seska Moscow take on Lokomotiv in an all-Russian affair. Seska would lead from start to finish. Euroleague MVP Nondo De Colo scoring a career-high 30 points. Seska Moscow does the job to an 88-81 victory. Seska qualifying for their first final in four years and setting up a showdown between their coach Dimitri Itoudis and his coaching mentor Jelko Abradovic of Fenerbahce. Two days later, over 12,000 packed the Mercedes-Benz Arena for what turned out to be a Berlin blockbuster. The grand stage would deliver one of the greatest finals of all time. Seska fans euphoric as the Russians raced into a 20-point half-time lead. Higgins, knocks down a three. But Abradovic hit back, launching a comeback for the ages in the fourth quarter. Having trailed by 16 with 10 minutes to play, Fenner took the lead with just 21 seconds remaining. Bobby Dixon, inspirational. Dixon goes around, kicking the three-pointer. Oh, the board is down for Bobby Dixon. Fenerbahce were within touching distance of history, but then came an all-time classic moment. Seska's veteran captain, Viktor Kriapa, who'd spent his entire EuroLeague career in Moscow, tipping in to tie at the death. Heartbreak for Fenner that couldn't be overcome. Final four MVP Nondo De Colo took charge. Ten of his game high 22 points in the extra period, including eight of eight from the line. Seska seven-time champions. Seska Moscow, the new Euroleague champions. For De Colo and a number of others, it would prove a career-defining night. It was a great season for, for everybody and uh, we finished the, the season with, uh, with the EuroLeague title, so this is the most important for, for all of us and this is why we work hard during all the season. For those on the losing side, it would become a night that has haunted them for the past year. Italian forward Luigi De Toma echoing Fenerbahce's determination to go one step further and make amends this time around. Of course, we had a great season, a lot of fun, a lot of wins, but then when you lose the finals, you always remember only the final loss, and uh, it was a bad uh, moment. Um, luckily, we had the immediately Turkish playoffs, so we have to remove it and uh, think about a new goal. Uh, but of course, it's a chip on our shoulder, and that's why I think a lot of us stayed here, because we have um, young sale and unfinished business. 
With Fenerbahce looking to bounce back and Seska seeking back-to-back -back titles, the stage is set for 2017's Final Four to produce many more memorable moments.